In this video, we're going to demonstrate the disassembly of the CRW 300K slips. The first step in the process is removing the slip carriers. As you can see, you're going to do this by using two 15 16 wrenches, loosen the upper bolt, and then go to the lower bolt and fully remove that and remove the carrier. Now that the first carrier is out, repeat the process on the other side of the slips. Now that the slip carriers are out, we're going to go on to removing the hydraulic cylinder from the slip body. First, we're going to start by removing the cotter pins from each side of the hydraulic ramp. Once that's complete, we'll remove the pins that hold the hydraulic ramp in place from the hockey stick and the hydraulic cylinder mount. Once that's done, we'll set the hydraulic cylinder to the side. Now that the hydraulic cylinder has been removed, we're gonna turn the dog ears to the inside so the bolts are accessible. You'll begin by removing the four Allen head bolts in each dog ear. Uh, once that's complete, we'll remove the dog ear itself, remove the shear stock, and set it aside. Now that the first dog ear is off, you'll jump over to the other side, repeat the process, and remove your other dog ear, and that'll continue with your slip deconstruction. Next step in the deconstruction process is removing the hockey stick. You'll do this by grabbing your set of snap ring pliers and you'll remove the two snap rings that retain the hockey stick in place. Once that's complete, you'll remove both the washers and then you can remove the hockey stick itself. Now with the hockey stick removed, we're going to remove the cam arms. So you can turn your slips to the side, but just pull the cam arm itself out. Make sure you grab both the spacers from each side. Set them to the side, don't lose them, they're very important. Once completed, repeat this process on the other side. Now we're going to remove the cam arm bushings. So we'll start, you'll have to tap them out. Sometimes they'll come out very easily, sometimes they're a little stuck in there. It'll take a second, remove both from each side. Notice the orientation of the bushings. The lip is on the inside. When we reinstall them, we want to ensure the lip is on the inside again. Uh, that's so if they do crack or break, they will not fall out. Once complete, repeat on the other side. Now we're going to remove the grease zerts. There's four of them. When you're removing them, make sure you inspect them for no damages. Make sure they're good to be reinstalled. Once you remove them, look down inside each of the holes. Ensure it's cleaned out for reinstallation. Now we're going to remove the housing wear plates. You'll do this by removing the four bolts and lock washers so that are retaining them. Once the four bolts are removed, go ahead, remove the wear plates themselves and set them off to the side. Now we're going to remove the slide plates. We'll do this by removing the two Allen bolts that retain the plate. Each plate has two bolts and two lock washers. When you're removing the plates, make sure you keep track of the lock washers. Sometimes they get stuck in the plates and when you remove the plate, you'll have to fish the lock washer out. Once the bolts are removed, you can remove the slide plate and check for the lock washers. Set the slide plates and lock washers and bolts off to the side for reinstallation. The 
next step is to remove the cylinder mount bracket. You'll do this by removing the two Allen head bolts underneath the slips. Now notice there are two piece washers there. Those are the cam lock washers. Make sure we do not lose those, set them aside. They are a set and you need both for reassembly. Lastly, we're going to take a look at the disassembled slips. This is a full overview of everything, just to show you how many parts really go into making up one set of our 300K slips. If anyone has any questions after watching this video, please reach out to a member of the training department or operations staff. We thank you for watching, and we'll see you next time.